So I wanted to talk about something today that I think is a topic um, that a large majority of survivors can relate to. I know that I can. And I wanted to call this video topic Reinventing Family. It's really getting close to the holidays right now. And for a lot of survivors, it's becoming increasingly more difficult, not just with um, the Christmas holidays coming up, um, but also Thanksgiving just having passed and other holidays like birthday celebrations and so forth. Um, and the reason for this is because a lot of us have family members um, who know about our abuse or in fact we are spending time with our abuser um, during the holidays. And so this is something that becomes um, difficult to deal with and something that I think we as survivors need to look at and perhaps, like I said, reinvent what family means to us. I was having a conversation with someone today um, about my own experience and having blood relatives in my life, not everyone, I do have supportive family members who are blood relatives who I love very much, who support and love me they know about my trauma, they support my endeavors, um, and they see me and they love me. I know that they love me because they want for me what I want for myself. And so those people I keep in my life because they're important to me and I love them. But there are other family members who know about my abuse and ha either have a hard time dealing with it, want to silence it, um, or are in disbelief of it. And this is something that over the years I've come to terms with in that I have either accepted these people for who they are and accepted that I'm not going to let them into my world and allow them to affect me negatively, or it's meant in some cases um, that I disconnected from these people and no longer allowed them into my life. They're either actually out of my life or I've disconnected with them. So that's a choice that I made, not an easy one, and one that I often find myself questioning. But in my healing, I find that the more I accept what happened to me and who I'm evolving as a person into and the healing that takes place on an ever daily basis, I'm coming to terms with the fact that my choices are ones that are healthy for me and I do not have to put up with disrespect um, based on people because they're my blood relatives. Now, reinventing family, what do I mean by that? Well, you know what, sometimes you can come from an awesome family, very loving, very supportive, and for those who are fortunate enough to have a family like that, I think that is amazing and, and a true gift. For others, some, many survivors do not have that privilege. And so we have to take into question why we continue to allow people into our lives simply because they are considered family. The question raises, what does family mean to you? To me, Family means the people who love me the most, the people who support me, all of me, the bad, the good, the, the ups, the downs, everything. These people I know that I can lean on no matter what. These are my family. It has nothing to do with blood. It has nothing to do with, I hear these terms, blood is thicker than water, and you know you, you, you can't separate from your family, and, and I argue that you can. It is a choice that each of us has to make for our well-being, for the betterment of ourselves and who we want to become in a healthier mindset, in the choice to move forward from victim to survivor to thriver so that we no longer even have to label ourselves anymore. These are very arduous, very difficult things that, choices that we have to make, but I feel in order to heal are sometimes the most important steps to take. And so I wanted to voice that 
Um, because there have been quite a few people in my close-knit circle of survivors, some on MySpace, um, and they are dealing in very difficult decision-making. Having to make these difficult choices, having to separate themselves from their family and questioning whether or not that's the right decision because of things that they have been conditioned to believe about family. And I have to ask you, what does family mean to you? What do you expect? What do you give? You know, you, you really have to allow yourself love. And I think that that's what it comes down to. When we are in a place where we allow ourselves to be loved and admit to ourselves that we are deserving of love and respect, then we will make the choices of who we choose to have in our life. And if this for you means that you are in a place where you can disconnect from your family members in terms of blood relatives, so be it. You know, know that you're making a choice, you're thinking of yourself this time, and you're not that abused child. You are a grown person, whether it be male or female, and you are choosing to be healthy. And I make no qualms that this is a very difficult decision. It's one that I have had to make myself. But again, you're worth it. I'm worth it. You're worth it. And this is something that I believe is part of your healing process. It doesn't happen in the same time. We can't compare trauma. But I believe that no matter what, you have to choose what's right for you. Because at the end of the day, when there's no one else there, you have to be okay with yourself. And so I just wanted to make a short blog entry about that. And I welcome letters and emails um, comments from people to let me know what you're thinking about this your difficulties things that you're dealing with right now speak up break the silence you know talk about it this is how things get sorted out and how we as survivors are able to move on and how people around us who truly love us we can then see that and allow them in which is often very hard for survivors who have been hurt in the past to do. So, I just wanted to send some love out and let those of you know who are going through such hard times right now that you are not alone and that uh, there are others like myself who care and uh, who want you to be well. So, namaste and uh, thank you for listening.